What's up you guys, it's Katie, welcome back to Still the Spotlight, or in today's case, kind of more like an episode of Hoarders. Obviously it should be no surprise that I have quite the collection of clothing, so you'd think this would be a great video idea, but um, actually I think it might be somewhat alarming to see just how much it has consumed the entire household. For the most part, I keep the bulk of it out on racks in the garage, but I've also taken over two just standard built-in wardrobes, one of which also has a few drawers in it. There's also extra sets of drawers in the spare room, along with just the bed in there in general, kind of has sweaters, sweatshirts, things of that variety that I just cannot find a permanent home for. There's a couple of extra racks that have somehow found their way into the hallways. There's another set of drawers in my boyfriend's wardrobe, which now completely belongs to me. But as we all know, bigger doesn't equal better. So I really want to get ruthless with this clean out and start to rebuild. And that is actually where today's video sponsor comes into the mix. So thank you so much to ShopTagger for teaming up with me once again. ShopTagger is a completely free service all you got to do is simply download the cute little button to your browser and from then on whenever you are shopping online and you see something you like you can add it to your shop tagger list that way they can notify you when any of those items go on sale come back in stock or start running low as well they also have the mobile app available now and they can send you push notifications over there too impulse shopping used to be my biggest weakness and i can guarantee you that's exactly what leads you to a huge wardrobe full of things Things that you never actually want to wear so you see a lot of that from my past today but once I started using shop tagger I definitely cut down on that because when I see something I don't automatically feel like I have to rush into things because I don't have to keep those thousand tabs open to keep track on it myself I can just simply add it to my list hit pause and come back to it when I'm ready. So for example, if you clear out your wardrobe today and you notice that you've gotten rid of like all of your pants or all of your dresses and there's a hole you need to fill, then I would create a whole separate dedicated list to that particular item of clothing. And then you can add all of your favorites, then they're in one place and it's really easy to compare and see which one is right for you. Plus obviously you get to save a bit of money when it comes to the sale notifications. But on top of that, they also offer a service whenever you're checking out where they can actually just scan the entire internet for the best available coupon codes and automatically apply them for you which trust me has come in real handy for me in the past this month they're also doing a thousand dollar giveaway so to enter all you have to do is download the app and the extension on Google Chrome and then add at least one item to your list and you will automatically be in the draw to win of course as always the links will be down below in the description if you are interested but for now we have quite the mission ahead of us so let's get it so i'm gonna start off by dragging in racks from the garage these are already semi organized into different categories which i think is going to make this a faster process my aim is just to go through everything and create a keep and a sell slash donate pile you guys already know that i am quite the indecisive person so chances are this will be a very lengthy process but i'm just gonna try on a couple of the items you know what, I think I'm actually going to change into jeans so it's not so distracting. I mean, I really like it, it looks cool, but I don't think I'm going to get enough wear out of it. It could definitely go to a better home. Are maybe piles allowed? Just for now. This is a definite keep. I don't love it. I feel like when it comes to basics, you really want to make sure they are spot on. Definite keep. You guys know I wear that all the time. This one is like total Fran Fine from the Nanny Vibes and she is exactly the sort of aesthetic and attitude I like to embody when it comes to clothing. So, big yes. Okay, this is hands down my favorite item in my entire wardrobe. So I think it's actually a really good example of what criteria I should be abiding by when it comes to what to keep. First and foremost, it is worn very often. It's also a really good quality. Every time I put it on, it feels like the fabric is just giving me a nice warm hug, which in turn is probably why it's one of my most worn pieces because it's not itchy or uncomfortable. It's also a piece that's quite unique and I feel like is a very strong representation of what my personal 
personal style is. And lastly, and probably actually the least important is that it does hold somewhat of a sentimental value to me. I feel like that can be dangerous if you start holding on to everything you have a story attached to. But this I picked up on my first ever trip to Japan and it was just a really good representation of how much the fashion inspired me over there. Ah, this one is sick, I love this. Uh... Okay, I am gonna put the key pile back on the rack and as I do it one by one, just do a bit of a double check. Do I definitely need to hold on to this? Okay, I am happy with what I have there to keep and um, I do have this small little maybe pile here which honestly is just me trying to cheat so I feel like we should move it on over. Okay, clearly we have a lot of work to do here because it's so heavy it's formed this lean. And when it comes to bottoms, I'm gonna have to be more ruthless because a lot of them just don't fit me properly anymore, which is one of the main criteria I accidentally left out when I was talking about it earlier. Okay, this is a problem I will probably encounter a couple of times. I love these pants. They're still a fairly recent purchase. I wore them for my anime inspired lookbook and I did purchase them with the sole intention to recreate a particular outfit and I don't know if they're necessarily my own personal style so it feels pointless hanging on to them but also there was such a recent purchase it feels silly to get rid of them but I think it would be best to hand them on to someone who wants to recreate a similar look. Okay actually I lied we're gonna do a separate pile of ones that need to be tried on. Oh my God, I love these so much. I got these in my iGirl bundle and I think they are sick, but I haven't actually worn them. Again, just with the climate I live in, it is way too hot to wear these thick ass motorcycle pants. And also let me know if you guys have any tips, but I find it hard to style these because they kind of are a three quarter length, which I am just not used to. Oh, I just recently picked up these pants from IMG and they give me total like J-Hope vibes. So I am loving those. I find it really, really hard to get a good pair of faux leather pants. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. These are the softest, comfiest pants and I think it's really important to keep in mind when you're having a clean out, not to get too out of control with only keeping like the amazing items. You definitely need those basic staple pieces because when I'm at home like 80% of the time, this is the sort of shit I'm gonna wear, so definitely staying. I feel like that wasn't quite as ruthless as I wanted to, so I'm just gonna try a bunch of stuff on to really make sure. I love anything that is half and half, and these look so cute from the front, but then you turn around, and it is just doing you no favors. I'm actually stoked to have some more clippy hangers because these are a very high commodity in our household, but I'm gonna go ahead and start putting everything back on the rack. Actually, I've changed my mind on these ones. I think I wanna try these ones on. Oh yeah. Actually, they do still fit well. Next up, we got ourselves some coats and jackets. This is one of my favorite categories of clothing to purchase. So I've accumulated quite a number, which again, keep in mind, I live in Brisbane and we barely even get a winter. <sighs> okay, clearly I am really struggling to part ways with jackets. Like I said, it is one of my biggest loves and this one for example i think is so cute it is very that like k fashion sort of style but i don't think i've ever worn it so there's no point holding on to it now for a just in case this one still has the tags on it because i bought it specifically for my overseas trip because it was super super warm but 
I just felt kind of ugly in it. This one's giving me Tae Young vibes. This, I think I'm gonna hold on to a little while longer. I thrifted it quite some time ago, but with the idea in mind to one day recreate that outfit that Blake Lively wears as Serena Vanderwoodson in Gossip Girl, I really am determined to film a Gossip Girl inspired video very soon. I hate these hangers though. In the perfect world, I would definitely like to have all matching hangers, but realistically, how much would that actually cost me? This is definitely an old faithful. I've had it for a very long time and I'm sure you guys have seen it on countless occasions. Trench coats are another staple. I really like this one because it is a little bit more lightweight, so it's definitely very wearable here. This one, however, is a lot heavier, but I picked it up from Style Nanda and it is such good quality and really that absolute timeless classic. Big yes to the Matrix coat. I do not even have to try it on. Okay, the only ones I still have to decide on are these three leather jackets. Uh, honestly, I may end up holding on to all of them because I feel like they all have a very different silhouette to them. Classic, oversized, and cropped. So, I don't know, I feel like this is the definition of same, same, but different. I think I might just leave them all for now, but you guys let me know if you think there's one I should ditch. And for your consideration, I present more jackets. Obviously, this one doesn't have anywhere near as many as the last rack, but I'm just gonna quickly power through this one and then check out my other wardrobes to see if there's any more lurking in the shadows. I think I might give this one to my sister. <laughs> this one I love. My friend Maddie gifted it to me. She thrifted it and I am so keen to style it up this winter. This one is brand new. I got it for a particular video that is coming up soon. Okay, this whole section I don't even need to try on. I think I just have a good idea of what goes and what stays. Ah, I love this. This makes me feel like I'm living in some sort of Wes Anderson world. It is just gorgeous. Realistically, when am I ever gonna wear it? I don't know, but I don't think I can part with it. Okay, great, more leather jackets. This again is another style though. It's that really trendy 90s long line silhouette. This is like one of my favorites. This one on the other hand is too oversized. Okay, so clearly we still have a long way to go, but for now this pile is getting out of control. So I have a couple of these these huge storage bags so I'm gonna fold these up and start popping them in here before we start the process all over again okay it is a new day I am back with allergies <coughs> so I love that for me but we're gonna power through there's only a few racks left to go so let's just speed round through those bad boys so we can move into the wardrobes I'm gonna be real with you right now. Uh, majority of this rack is vests and majority of them will be staying. You guys know I have a soft spot for them. Honestly, if I was ever to come out with my own clothing line, I think it would just be a variety of different vests because I love them all. So far, we only have one in the out pile. The few items that are left on here are like two piece sets. I already know this one. I'm sadly gonna have to part ways with. I love it, it's inspired by the one that Jenny wore, but it is just too cropped for my liking. Maybe someone who's a little bit smaller will be able to put it to better use. I kind of wanna get rid of the pants, but keep the top. Is that stupid? I don't know. <laughs> love this Barbie moment. Love a pajama moment as well. These two on the other hand, I think we can say goodbye to. And then that's another keep. Dresses. I have quite a few of them. I only wear a couple when it's like really hot in summer and I'm just at home and I can't stand to wear 
anything else on my body. And other than that, most of these just sit here with these unrealistic scenarios attached to them. Taking cute photos at the tennis court. If I ever want to dress up like Sabrina Spellman, 90s version, obviously. If I find a way to travel back to 2003 and walk the red carpet of the Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. Me, if I ever need to dress up as a 90s supermodel. If I ever need a cute mod moment or for some reason am dressing up like Ariana Grande circa 2014. Me, if I ever have a hot date and miraculously lose my back rolls and back knee. Back rolls? Honestly, I know I wasn't really ruthless enough with this rack, but I don't know. I just, I can't do it. Just, I'm sorry. I'm sorry I can't. Don't hate me. As you can probably tell, this is just a miscellaneous rack. It's supposed to be for upcoming videos, but it's kind of a mix of upcoming videos, videos that have already been filmed and just generally stuff I couldn't find a home for. So probably nothing is going to be going in the out pile, but I just want to sort it out and then put them in the correct categories. So since it's kind of dark and squishy in the bedrooms, it's too awkward to film. So I'm just dragging my stuff from the wardrobe out onto these racks for now and we'll see what stays and what's gonna go. Keep, this is like um, one of the little dresses I throw on at home all the time, like I was talking about earlier. I love this, definite keep. Same with this, adorable. This is cute, but it kind of shrunk in the wash. These are two very K-pop inspired dresses, the Feel Special dress and the Oompa Oompa dress. This is probably my boyfriend's least favorite item in my wardrobe, but I still love it. This was actually my first cardigan I thrifted that started my obsession like a couple of years ago. Super cute, super cute. <sighs> Do you guys remember when Brandy Melville was like first a huge topic on YouTube? The little Jada dress, I wanna say. I think that's definitely seen better days. This is another one of my favorite thrift finds ever. Gives me big Spice Girl vibes. Welcome to my mini skirt addiction. It is quite the problem, especially considering a lot of these I can't actually wear outside of the house because they're too big. I do hold on to them and just make it work for videos by pinning it in the back because a lot of these are my ideal perfect skirts that I would love to be wearing. So I still want to feature them in videos for you guys, but yeah. Today I just want to see what actually does fit and if there's anything I can actually take in and then just what's time to say goodbye to. This half of the wardrobe is where I cleared all the jackets out earlier, so we're just left with this side here. And honestly, I probably haven't touched anything in here for at least two years, which is a pretty good indication that all of it should go. But I think I might want to have one last moment with a few of the items. I have some really gorgeous vintage dresses in here and also this like red carpet moment as well. Okay, so it's actually been a hot minute since that last clip you've seen. I just gave up momentarily, but I saw Alexa Sunshine 83 upload her closet clean out. It was the push I needed to get back on track. I am now determined to finish this today. We have already completed everything that was hanging up and we got rid of a decent amount, which is just chilling in the corner there. I cannot wait to get rid of it. Going through everything that is folded or currently more like scrunched and shoved but we're gonna fix that up and honestly there's some stuff in here that hasn't seen the light of day in quite some time so hopefully I will actually be ruthless this time. I'm obviously sticking to our same yes or no formula but the yes piles are gonna multiply a little bit because I am gonna try and categorize them before I fold them up and put them back away so we're gonna have graphic tees, body suits, crop tops, that sort of thing. That also means I'm not piling these back into these drawers until we've gone through everything because I don't want to be doubling up on categories.
Okay, I'm pretty happy with what we've managed to get rid of. I'm gonna start piling these smaller items into these bins. Off camera, I've taken a bunch of those sweaters and sweatshirts that were previously living on the bed and rehomed them in there. There are still a few left over just because they were too heavy to hang, which gets us to today's mission. So, final mission for the day is to fold all of this up, add it to the rest of the pile, and then hopefully get a decent looking thumbnail out of it. Ideally, I would love to list a bunch of this stuff up on Depop and then send the rest to the op shops. But with the current situation of self-isolation and quarantine, I think it might be best to save that one for a later date.